I'm Natalie Dupree and I'm here with PostandCourier.com with a very wonderful simple chicken pot pie and don't tell anybody but it's going to be from store-bought crust and if you want to you can use rotisserie chicken if perhaps you don't cook all your chickens by hand. So here we are. I purchased this um, little fry pan for two and it, it, it's cute but it does has some flaws one of which for me is that it was too deep and I'm going to show you that later but so you always want to be sure that something is the depth that you want it. What I have over here I'm going to fill up this um, container with some chicken and some spinach And you want to be sure that your chicken is just cut up enough or broken up enough. This is cooked chicken, but the spinach is not. Now the traditional for pot pies, in case you didn't know it, is uh, um, English peas. And when I was a girl, they used to sell frozen pot pies with English peas. I'm not crazy about English peas and pot pies. So I wanted to take another green vegetable. And really, you can use any green vegetable. You can go back to, to them or whatever you'd like. And so I've got this. And I realized after cooking mine, which you'll see in this brand new pot, that I needed to give it a really heaping kind of a feel. Now, over here I have some mushrooms that I'm sauteing. These are shiitakes. They can be just about any kind of mushroom that you want. Or you can add anything to get flavor in there. You can cook some shallot if you want to. Anything that you think will add some flavor. So this is, these are cooked and I'm going to go ahead and put them in here as well. Now, I've got And then I'm going to add some chicken stock and boil it down until it's nice and thick. So uh, you want to, when you have a rim on a pot on a pie pan, you want to take and be sure that you have a rim underneath it to hold it. And so I have this rim of dough here, and I'm going to add just a little bit more. And it's never a good idea to work right next to a hot pan when you're using pies, making pie doughs. But I can't both show you that boiling down and do this without having them right next to each other. Get a cool spot even with this. So now I'm adding some whipping cream, and I'm going to boil that up. And then here is my pie crust, and it's, it's had a little unhappy day, so because I cut it. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, or roll it out a little bit, and then put here and put it on top. Get yourself a little liquid, a little water, a little milk, whatever, and put the two things together, the base and the top. And if he's cattywampered, go ahead and cut off your excess. Aim your knife out at a slant. And then go back around and make a pretty little decoration with your fingers. So here we are. You want to cut a little round in here and you can make a decoration if you'd like. I had a little chicken. I don't know what happened to him. But this is to let the steam come out. And then brush this with an egg glaze and um, you're done. What I've got here is the sauce and if you wanted to put the sauce in there you can do that. Here it is. It's all melted up and you can see 
that I really didn't need any flour because it's just like this when it's cold. And you can put this inside or you can serve it with the sauce depending on whether you're sauce eaters or not. Or you could just leave a little stock in there but you'd have to thicken it up. So here you are. Oop, here's my finished pot pie brushed with an egg glaze as I said. And I used this little chicken stencil to cut out little chickens which have disappeared but they worked okay uh, and it's good if you have grandchildren but maybe you wouldn't want something quite so small. What I was hoping for and what it did was give the pretty uh, decoration in the center so you could see the green and that spinach because it wasn't cooked ahead just cooked right in there with everything else. I also noticed that if I didn't fill it up everything shrank so much. You know how spinach shrinks that the sides got browner before the bottom did so I had to run this under the broiler in order to get the inside done and cover this with foil. Lots of ways to skin a cat. I'm Natalie Dupree here for postandcourier.com with chicken pot pie.